and welcome back to another video, another vlog, and another episode of the Rebuild series. So if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes of the Rebuild series, I've basically, I've got quite a few different biomechanical problems with the way that I was born. So a few weeks ago, I found out that I had a curved spine, which was causing quite a few imbalances, causing injuries. And then a couple of weeks ago, I found out that I had something called squinting patella, which meant that my knees go in, which again is causing injuries. So I can't run anymore. If you want full details of like the entire, I can't run anymore, my knee problem, my back problem, the physio updates, then I'll link it in the description below. But basically the previous video, I go through everything so there's not really much point in going through all of it in this video but I'm bit to be honest I'm basically on the rebuild and I'm on the hunt to try and find a new kind of workout routine that I'm going to enjoy and get a lot out of. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a lower day and the purpose of this routine is to do a knee strengthening workout so kind of like knee knee hab or prehab and also putting together a few different leg movements which aren't going to hurt my back and maybe finish off with a kind of metcon conditioning kind of thing at the end because I've not really done one in a while.
that was a tough session, but I really enjoyed that. That's the most I've enjoyed the session for weeks. So that's telling me kind of the direction where I'm gonna be taking training now that I can't run. And like, now that that's out of my head, I know I can't do it. I know that I can start focusing on other things and trying to figure out things and, and yeah. Right, we're back from the gym. Got my protein shake, the peach tea clear protein from my protein, which is my favorite flavor so far. I've done, tried the rainbow candy and the bitter lemon. Both are really, really nice, but this is, this is definitely my favorite one. Anyway, a bit of a chilled Monday today. I usually finish at half seven and get home about eight, quarter past eight. But today my clients came in early, which was really, really nice for, you know, nice for a change. And the weather is lovely. So I'm definitely gonna go out and enjoy that. But yeah, today I did a lower session, as you saw. It was different to how I usually have my leg sessions. Like I'd usually do back squats and stuff like that. But this time I kind of went for more knee strengthening and M range strength. So we had like the Cossack squats, Bulgarian split squats with like a lower um, lower bench because apparently it increases range of motion. So that's why I did that. And what else did I do? I'll put the entire workout on the screen, but basically it was a really good session. Really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like functional training, that kind of way of programming is going to be the way that I'm going to be training for the rest of the year. I haven't decided yet, so don't hold me to it. It could change, but... I'm enjoying trying new things and that's been my favorite session that I tried since all of this injury rehab kind of stuff. So, so yeah. I think a big thing for me now moving forward or at least for the end of the year is just finding that kind of thing that I can replace running with that gives me the same kind of feeling. Like looking outside now and seeing the weather and all I wanna do, <laughs> nothing would beat the feeling now of just going out for a run in this weather, really good music and just a really nice route, like a trail route or something. But obviously I can't do that. I can cycle, but don't really fancy it. Don't really fancy falling off. Don't really fancy the expenses of buying all the equipment that you need for cycling and stuff like that. So I think, I think I might have probably said in the previous video, but, tonight, but now it's more about getting strong and getting fit. And if I can do it through like gym work, like the, the session I've just done. So doing like a strength workout, increasing the range of motion and then finishing off with a Metcon. So that was a 10 minute AMRAP, which was really, really hard, but really enjoyable at the same time. And I actually felt like I, I really, really achieved something from the session. So a lot of playing around, a lot of figuring things out. But I think, like I said previously, I think the way that I'm going to, I'm going to probably go towards more functional based kind of style training. Um, which it does excite me to be fair. But that also means I kind of need to figure out YouTube a little bit. I loved making running videos. Like I, I miss making running videos so much and learning more about running and helping people get started in different things like math training or just running in general. Loved it. So I think I need to kind of, I want to continue making videos that help people and that are fun to make and are fun to watch. So I have a lot of figuring out to do over the next few weeks, next few months, but We'll get there. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.